Okay, right, if you haven't, don't worry about it. These exercises can be done with no weights at all. Um, the weights are there just to make things a little bit tougher, but they're going to be pretty tough as they are. So we're starting off with um, some squats. We're then going on to some floor work. And we're going to, I hope we're going to be able to keep it going. Just Facebook went a little bit short on Wi-Fi. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, it's a, a half an hour class. I'm just going to bring the camera up slightly. It's a half an hour class. The first things we need to do is to gently warm up. So, we don't need any weights in our hands at the moment. Um, it goes without saying, a few words of caution. Number one, most important, the sun is shining today. It is beautiful and warm outside. Please make sure you stay hydrated. If you need to stop for a drink, please stop for a drink. My classes are not aimed at no pain, no gain. If anything hurts or you can't do, please stop. If you're doing a squat and you can't reach all the way down with a squat, let's bring the knees up nice and high. Please don't try and force yourself all the way down beyond where you can go. It's all about you knowing your limitations. If I'm going too fast, please slow things down. We're going to do things in sets of uh, 10 to 15. If 10 is all you can do, that's fine. Don't force yourself if you can't raise your knees all the way up to your hands. Just walk slowly. We're going to change now, kicking back behind. That's it. Try and kick your bottom with a little bit of a bounce in between. Gently warming up. As I always say, our muscles are like blue tack. When they are cold, they can snap. When we warm them up, they will move a lot easier. Good. Let's just throw in the arms as we're doing this. Round in circles. Just want to warm up. That's good. And take the arms, go the other way. Keep flicking back. That's it. And going into a half um, jumping jack. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Back to jogging or running on the spot if you can, rather than high knees. If you can't jog, don't worry about it. You can walk, bring the knees up if you can jog. Try and give a little bit of a jog. Release the shoulders. That's good. Keep it going. Okay, let's stand still. Just turn the head side to side. Side to side, slowly and gently. We do approximately seven minutes of warming up. We've done about five, so we've got about two minutes more to do. Back to a jog, back to knees up nice and high. Up we go, up we go. Let's do that for 20 seconds. All the way up, come on. That's 10 seconds. Two, one, and rest. Okay, shake out the legs, shake out the arms, okay, hands on the hips, go around in circles, let's go around the other way, and hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer now, shake out everything, and we're going to go for the first series of exercises. I have a little block of wood. I don't know if you've had a chance to find a block of wood yet. If you have, all well and good. If you haven't, you can do the same exercise without. I've literally got a block of wood here. I've just put two supports on it because I did. 
but you just need a little block of wood. If you haven't got a heavy weight to hold in your hands or both hands, don't worry about it. I'm just going to take heavy weights. We're not actually lifting it. You could hold a vacuum cleaner. You could hold an urn. Anything you want. You're going to take your feet over the edge so that the balls of the feet are on and your heels are on the ground. We're going to do some calf raises. So we're going to stand nice and tall, stomach in, and 15 times we're going to raise the heels up as high as you can. If you're doing it flat on the ground, that also works. Three, four, because you're raising up. Five, by using the wood. Six, you've got a little bit further to travel. Seven, eight, you should feel this on the calves. Nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Lovely, okay, that's set one done. Just going to push the wood block behind me. Make sure we don't trip on it. Okay, we're going to take the feet nice and wide. If you want to change the, the weight to a lighter weight, you can because you may want to lift them up. Um, what we're going to do now is really wide with the legs, point the toes out to the corners of the room. Okay, if you're holding a heavy weight you don't want to lift, that's also good because it works the legs really hard. And we're going to do 15 squats, okay? Going all the way as low as you can and up. One, squeeze the bottom on the way up. Two, if you don't want to put your hands outside. Three, you can bring your hands inside. Coming down. Four, make sure you're looking forwards all the time. Breathe out on the way up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. That's it. Nine. Ten. Let's get five more in. If you can. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Well done. Good. That's 15. 15 wide squats. Somebody's unmuted. If they want to try and figure out who they are and mute themselves. Okay, next one we're going to do. Uh, this time bring the legs so they're straight underneath the shoulder and the feet are facing forwards. Before it was out and wide. Now, okay, I'll do it for you. Now, what I want you to do is bring the feet into uh, that's it everybody's muted again sorry about that okay so now we're facing feet forwards if you want you could do a bicep curl as we go down with the squat only if you want to so the feet are wide-ish so they're underneath the shoulders and here we go 15 one two Three, good. Four, nice and low. Five, try not to move the knees out to the sides. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got five more to do if you can. One, two, Three, four, last one, and five. Well done, shake out the legs. Okay, we're going to do one more set where the feet are quite close together. All right, we're going for 15 more. And here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more if you can. One, two, three. Four and 
and five. Well done. Put the weights to the side. Give yourself a little drink. That was the first set done. Uh, Galaxy S10 has managed to unmute themselves again. I'm just going to mute them. Okay, sorry. That's all right. Okay, have a little drink, have a breather. Okay. And then we'll go for round two. We're doing two sets of these today. <coughs> okay. So I'll do it without the wood this time because not everybody has. I'm holding on to my weights. Standing feet together. Coming up onto tiptoes. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, last one, and five. Good. Take those legs nice and wide, pull them out to the corners of the room. Have the weights weight when you comfortably can. And we're going for 15 squats. Here we go, nice and low. And breathe out and push up. One, try and look forwards all the time. Two, so your head is up. Three, so it means your back is fairly straight. Four, that's it. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. We've got five more to go. One, two, three, four, and five. Well done. Sh shake out the legs, get the blood to circulate again. Second set. Second load of squats. So feet are straight forward and underneath the shoulders. An option to do a bicep curl if you want. And to do 15. Here we go. One. Nice and low. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Option of five more. Have a rest. One, two, three, four. Last one and five. Well done. Good. One last set to go with the feet close together. If you're wondering why we're doing three sets of squats, it's because our quads, our muscles on the front of the leg, there are four of them. And by moving the legs around a little bit, we can focus on different muscles within the group of four. So feet fairly close together. You don't have to do bicep curls. Just don't let the knees roll out to the sides so we stay in a nice straight line. Back is straight, sun is shining. Let's go for 15 more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, five more. One, two, three, four, last one, and five. Well done. Let's put the weights down, have another drink. Thing about weights, you don't have to do too much to feel it. They're big exercises. 
working out large muscle groups. Okay, we need to go down on the floor. So if you've got a mat, it's what we're looking for. Or if you've got a nice soft floor, just finding my mat. Okay, putting the mat on the floor, making sure that it's clearly visible for all of you. Good. Okay, have a drink before you go down, just to make sure you're well hydrated. Okay, make sure you've caught your breath. Nice and slowly going down onto the floor. Lying on your back. Good. Nice and slow. And when you get there, I just want you to relax. Okay? Lying all the way back. Head to the ground. That's it. Get comfortable. Legs are out long, stretched out in front. Raise your hands up. Lower them down behind you, nice and straight. See if you can touch the floor. If you can, that's great. If you can't, do not force yourself to. Okay, stretch all the way out. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling. And again, stretch down behind you. That's it. If your hands do reach the ground, just relax them and then stretch them far away from the body as you can. So we're feeling a little bit like we're on one of their medieval torture racks, not that I'm sure you've been on one, where we're stretching the body out both ways. Okay, now stretch out with your left leg and your right arm. Just push out as far as you can with that. Left leg, right arm, so you've got a diagonal through the body. Diagonal pull. Relax, now do the same with the other side. So, left arm, right leg. Push that away from you. So you're getting a nice, deep stretch. That's it. Okay, now bringing your arms up and down by your side. Just lifting up your bottom or rocking it side to side so that you can get your hands comfortably underneath your bottom or lower back and giving some support to your back. It should feel comfortable and you should have a slight raised curvature of the spine off the ground. Okay, the first exercise we're gonna do from here is we are going to lift the leg um, outwards to the sides, okay? So 10 times we're gonna lift the legs up and open up wide and together. We're going to do it 20 times if you're quite happy to lift up both legs. If you can only lift up one leg at a time because your back hurts, then just do as I'm doing now, one leg 10 times, put it down, lift up the other leg and do that 10 times. If on the other hand you've got a good strong back and you're quite up to it, your decision, lift up both legs and do 20. On your marks, Get set, an inch off the ground, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. Eight. Nine and ten, resting down. Good. The next exercise we're going to do is we're going to ride a bicycle. So we're going to raise up both legs. If you've got a weak back, bring your knees up like this. Then it's easier to bring your knees in and riding a bike is like that for you. Okay, that's forwards and that will be backwards. If on the other hand you've got a good strong back and you're not going to hurt it, then we can leave the legs out much longer and ride a long bike, okay, like a penny farthing. We're going to go 10 times forward, 10 times backwards. Here we go, forwards. One, two, three, point the toes away. Four, big circles. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll go backwards now for ten. Nine, much harder. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Resting down. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to just bring my knees up. Takes a little bit of pressure off the back. That's perfect. We've got one more to do, and that's raising the legs up. So, as I said before, if you have a weak back, raise one leg up ten times, then change over, and raise the other leg up ten times. If, on the other hand, you have got a good strong back, and you want to, you can lift both legs up together. Either way, you're going to do ten on one side, ten on the other, and if you're going to raise up both legs, we're only going to do ten, and then we can have a bit of a rest while the others do their ten with the other leg. Okay, on your marks, enough talking, get set, go. One. Two. Three. Four. Breathe out as we bring the leg up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Resting down. If you're still going with the other ten with the other leg, please continue. Okay. Gives us a chance to have a little bit of a rest. Good. Okay. The next exercise we're going to do is the bridge. So we're going to bring both legs back. Two. Three. Four. It relieves the pressure on the back that we just did. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Holding up for the count of ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. That's set one finished. And we'll have a quick breather. If you've got your drink there, you can have a quick drink. If you haven't, you can just dream about having a drink, which you can do in a minute or two. Okay, taking the hands back underneath. We're going to do those same exercises again. I don't need to tell you what to do because I've given you your instructions. The first ones are the scissors. So let's go for 20. Here we go. Up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Resting the legs down. Good. Give you a couple of seconds to recover, and then we're going to ride the bicycle. Again, I've given you the uh, technique, so we can go straight into it. Ten forwards and ten backwards. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Resting down. Well done. Now we're going to raise the legs up into the air. Remember, if you're doing both legs, we do 10, have a rest. If you're doing single legs, you're going to do 20, 10 on each side, no rest. On your mark, set, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, 
and 10, resting down. Keep going if you're doing the others. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, now we're going to go into the bridge. This time make sure our heels are right back, as far as they can go back. Okay, we're going to do it double leg. Okay, I'm going to lift my arms up in the air just to make them a little bit more unstable. Last week I showed you how you can put your feet onto a bench or a chair to lift it, but today we're fine as we are. Just different ideas if you want to do it, go for it. And lifting up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, holding up, and if you get your heels back far enough, we can pulse them up in the air, here we go, one, two, three, heels up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold up there for three, two, one, and release, slowly lowering the back down, take one leg out long, and grab hold of the knee with the other hand, just pull that knee in towards you, which will help release the back. Good, taking that leg out, grab hold of the other knee, pull that one in towards you, get a good stretch. Let's grab hold of both knees, that's it, rock backwards and forwards slightly. And round in a circle. Both legs going the same way, both knees going the same way. Going one way, doesn't matter which way you go, as long as they both go together. And then gently round the other way. Just helps to release the back. Good. And letting go. Okay. You can keep your, your knees up like this. The next thing we're going to do that was legs and lower abs, those exercises. Now we're going to do the upper abs. We're going to take the hand and we're going to put it behind our head or by the side of our temple. Just be careful if you put it behind your head, you're not using it to pull. Okay, I'm resting my head in my hands, looking up at the ceiling, leaving a gap between the chin and the chest, like there's an apple there. Breathing out and raising up. That's all I'm doing. Up ten times, here we go. One, two, three, four, hold on the side of my head, five, six, seven, eight, nine, on the last one we're going to hold up, hold, hold, hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and gently release back. Well done. Everything today is coming two sets. So we're going to do two sets of this. What we're going to do, we're going to come up for one. And then try and push a little bit higher for two. And then back down to the ground. So it's up, up and down. Remember, breathing out as we go up. And keep looking at the ceiling. With the gap between the chin and the chest. We are not lifting up the lower back off the ground. So we're not putting extra strain on our lower back, which we certainly want, don't want to do as we get on in age. Here we go, coming up, I like to put one hand on my stomach to feel it working. Up, up, one, here we go. Up, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, holding up for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Lovely, well done. Okay, let's just do one more set because I feel like we can just take this one stage further. Okay, let's leave the hands where they were. If you want to take it one stage further, just bring the knees up into the air. Okay, we've worked those legs. The legs are 90 degrees up. Try and hold the 
calf of the leg going to parallel with the floor, and do another 10 press uh, sit ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Holding up for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay. Let's do a nice back stretch. So we're going to take the hands out to the sides like they're on a crucifix. We're going to put our knees and our feet together. This is the hard bit. I want you now to look to the right. Okay? And drop your knees down to the left. Okay? So the knees are gone in the opposite direction to where you're looking. Try and keep your shoulders and your arms firmly on the ground, and you should feel a nice stretch in the back. Come back to the centre, and turn over the other way, turn your head to the left, drop your legs down to the right. Again, try and keep your shoulders and your arms to the ground. Yes, your hip or your bottom may come off the ground, but you should get a lovely twist if you can keep your shoulders down. If you can't go all the way down with the knees, don't worry about it. We're going to just do that one more time each side. Turn to the right, drop the knees as far as, far as they comfortably will go to the left. Back to the centre. And over the other way. Look to the left, drop the knees to the right. That's lovely. Good. Back to the centre with the legs. I want you now to gently roll onto your side and come up to a seated position on the ground. Feet nice and wide. That's it. Good. And I want you now just to lean forwards in front, stretching the back a little bit. That's a nice stretching forwards. Lovely. Good. Now I want you now just to roll round so you're up onto one knee. Up onto one knee. Okay, we're going to take the opposite hand to whichever knee it is, putting it onto the outside of the leg and twisting the body round. We worked hard with the lower back, so I'm making sure we get some nice twists and stretches in there for you. That's good. Bring the heel out of the foot in front and lean down towards it. So I say lots of stretching for the lower back. That's it. Swapping over legs. Kneeling on the other leg. Opposite hand onto the outside and twisting round. Got about three minutes left. Well done if you've managed to keep up with me. If you've overtaken me, even better still, coming forward, leg out, reaching forwards, stretching out the back of the leg as well as the back and the bottom, gently coming up into a standing position. Good, if you want to hold on to something that doesn't move, go for it. We're going to lift up the leg from behind so we get a nice little quad stretch. Okay, some people need to hold on to something for stability, please do, otherwise just pull on the leg. Good. Knees together, should feel that working hard on there. Tomorrow is Tuesday. So tomorrow is cardio and core, the two C's, cardio and core. So, going to make sure you definitely have some water. You need just a light weight and a mat for that. Changing over leg. Okay, changing over leg, find a bit of balance, it's not easy on the mat. The mat's very soft and spongy, standing up nice and tall, pulling on there. So one light weight and a mat. Press ups, side planks, sit ups, dorsal raises, planks, all working the core tomorrow, as well as starting off the first half, bit of cardio, bit of running. On the spot, bit of things that will make the heart race. Lovely, good. Shake out both legs. 
hands on the hips going round. As I say, we use the back a lot, so let's stretch the back. Didn't use the arms too much, so we don't need to stretch them out. Go one way, let's go around the other way. Good. Let's just come around with the knees. I hope you enjoyed today. That's it, and go the other way around. You can do it again or find other sessions on my YouTube channel, Neil Isaacson PT, and just backwards and forwards. That's good. And just roll the shoulders back. If anybody wants to send me an email, it's neil at get in the number two shape.co.uk. Feet nice and wide, breathing out, breathing in. I should make a little sign and I'll put it up behind me so it's always there. Breathing out, breathe in, breathe out. Well done, give yourself a round of applause. Well done for this afternoon. Looking forward to seeing you all, I hope, tomorrow. Be it in the morning, be it in the afternoon, or be it for